After another night of dramatic lightning strikes and intense weather, we are bracing for more. Heavy rain is now in the forecast, and it could change your plans for the next 24 hours. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Jenny Hansen. And I'm Kelly Day. Thanks for joining us. Chief Meteorologist Bruce Essman is tracking the timing of all this. He's here now with the details of our weather alert. This is uh, approaching as we speak, right? Yes, it is. Right now, it's moving into the central Willamette Valley. Look at this line of thunderstorms that stretches all the way from the beach cities clear into central Oregon. We don't see this, uh, but this is probably the second time in like five years I've seen something develop like this. Just in this area, 301 lightning strikes in the last 15 minutes. So these are dangerous storms, the kind of storms we're really not used to here in the Northwest. So where are they going? Well, right now they're draped right across Corvallis, uh, Jefferson, you know, just south of Salem in the Turner area, and then on across uh, over towards Detroit. And gradually these storms are lifting their way mainly north, a little bit to the northwest. So this means eventually these thunderstorms in the next couple of hours will work their way up through Woodburn, through Wilsonville, and across much of the metro area. So if you've got little league practices tonight, or other things you really need to keep an eye on the weather between now and the next few hours. But here's the other thing. I've noticed some development out ahead of this. Not a thunderstorm yet in McMinnville, but the air is becoming increasingly unstable here. So we may not even be waiting for that line to get all the way here. A couple other things. Thunderstorms going along the coast. Lincoln City looked to have been mellowed out a little bit. But Rockaway and Manzanita, you guys have been hit hard in just the last few minutes. And it's not just west of the Cascades. This is that disturbance we were talking about yesterday. And it is going to change some evening plans. And just remember to go indoors. Your house and your car are the safest two places to be when thunder and lightning hit. Back to you. All right, thank you, Bruce. Here's an example of how fast something like this does happen. A motorcyclist was actually hit by lightning this morning. He's doing remarkably well tonight. The 59 year old's helmet was hit as he was simply riding down I 5. This was south of Chehalis. We do have pictures of the helmet you can see here after that lightning hit. It lost some of the padding in the strike, and the bolt singed his hair and face, but he is already out of the hospital. Witnesses started dialing 911 when they saw the rider, quote, light up. It was a sleepless night for a lot of people on the west side. Lightning lit up the sky there for several hours. Our videographer John Simmons caught these strikes in Beaverton just after 1 a.m. Now, when you spot severe weather, we would love to see your pictures or video. Email us at news at coin.com or you can submit them on our website.